everyone, TSG here and today we are going to talk about some ways to make commas in game. And this is because some people might already know, but some people don't, but they don't actually realize how much money they can make in the game. So therefore I made this tutorial and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to start with the number one, which is the achievements. And personally I love the achievements because it gives a lot of experience and a lot of commas as well and it gives some much other stuff which I will show you later on but still for now we are gonna focus on the wanted notices because personally I love bounty monsters you probably already have some wanted notices in your quest list and you see it gives a lot of experience and a lot of commas and you never know if they're hiding somewhere around on the map so yeah, you can go on, beat this monster, and get some nice experience and money from it. And also, as you see here, I still have some left. I've beaten plenty, plenty of monsters. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the money right now, but it doesn't matter. So further, we also have just achievements from monsters. Like there, you see you get like 7k, but also you get some items. They're all worth something, and it's the thought that counts, right? It all matters, in the end. As you can see, I've got some more comments with it. And right now, we go over to the ornaments and the titles. You get some nice fancy stuff from it. So, it gives you sort of reputation, I guess, in the game. Or it just makes you pretty. Which in my case, I have a little star. And some wings. So yeah you also have a lot of quests and you can explore the whole s world of 12 and yeah just just go everywhere and sometimes there are even events like Christmas Island Vulcanian you can defeat so many things there or complete many quests and get your comments from there as well so let's move on to the next one which is number two the Colosseum and right there we can figure out how your class works, have some PvP, get some socializing in the work, and see what your character is capable of. And also a lot of techniques. Because then you win. Which is the goal right here, because then you get tokens and you can buy stuff in the big Colosseum market. It's basically in the middle of the map, so it's you can't miss it. You just go to the door, Talk to the sweet lady in the front, say hi, you can wave, you can do nothing. And the most used things here are the sparking pebbles and spell points. Also the gleaming pebbles because it's used for soul stones or gear and the spell points is just for everyone. And especially high levels. They are like 500k on our server, which is Chica. But you can just try it out on your own server and see how it works like for you so we move on to the next one shall we I think that's a good idea which is number three arch monsters these are little special monsters with uh, like a different name and a little bit more power and it gives a little bit more experience and once you have the soul seeker from the build dungeon you can capture this monster it's like Pokemon you can capture it in a stone so you throw a stone at it instead of a pokeball that's how you can see it and then you can use it for the quest Antinal Harvest which is gotta catch them all right yeah it's all Pokemon related sort of more or less alright so people actually buy these art souls because they might be lazy so you see they pay 70k for it and that's about it you know and they really appreciate it and it gives them small source of commas and some are more expensive than others. So number four here is the Quack Dungeon. This is actually because this is the easiest dungeon for making free cost runes. Runes are used for maging equipments but yeah they are a little bit more hard to get so this is the most easy dungeon and it's the best to go with two persons or four or eight. It doesn't really matter. 
and you can get some souls and then you can pop them in the arena and get a lot of, a lot of resources from these little birds and yeah you can also get uh, of course other items which are probably like fire quark resources or wind quark resources and you can make boots from it to level your tailor or shoemaker or even jeweler it's all possible but for now we're gonna make the fire quark blade because I think I had some stuff left in the bank because I ran this dungeon already and then you find yourself a swordsmith right there and he crafts your items I'm sure probably one in your guild is a swordsmith and if you're a Shika, just come to me my name is Rostax and I'll be appreciated to make your sword and like here I don't run off with your swords <laughs> it's just showing you where to go for shattering your swords into runes because that would be very mean of me to do and yeah just hit yes shatter them you have get a magic fragment then you go to your inventory you open it and you get a lot of fancy runes right there they're all worth about 20 to 100k some even more you can see here 110k well this one is a little bit less but they all count up somehow and people buy it because of the high end game equipment that we high levels wear. So yeah, that's amazing isn't it? Let's move on to the next one which is number 5. Which is doubles which is located in Amagna so we're gonna make a nice route along the way of Amagna this is all the temples of every class that there is and beat their little shadow dolls that's how I call it it's nice I think so they all have different move sets of course different combinations different levels so it's not always 200 and dealing this amount of damage so don't worry they're all balanced so your character can actually beat it and once you've beaten it, like right here, your quest is completed, you get some doubloons, and for the full quest you get even more doubloons. And for the people that are lazy, there are also Colosian tokens there if you don't want a PvP. And for the high levels, Mahogany Pebbles sells really well in the markets because of the high equipment of course. Which is what we need, don't we? And for the lower levels, keep it on scrolls. People like scrolls and we probably will always buy scrolls because who has the time to run all around huh? Only you do, which is why you can make commas. So we move on to number 6 which is creating your own equipment because this saves a lot of money actually because you have to go to the markets, buy it or sit on the zap and then you ask everyone or the trade channel and then you're like I need resources for my gear and then you lose money already which is why you should actually save up go out there some more resources because it's all free you know and yeah then you put your items in and look there is your boots it's all free you made it all yourself and you could even sell it more money right okay number seven which is actually something like going out on an adventure ask some friends to come around or actually come with you and you see here some low level monsters like the Floormore Stamen and not the Uka Eye because that one is just hardcore but there's, there are more like the ping penguins that you need a beak and you can just go there, ask a friend, I've got my friend right here and we decided to beat some Floormores because that's actually just how we roll and alone it can be a little bit boring and you might think like this isn't gonna get me anything further because it's so long you get only one and shut up people will buy it so just go out 
fight them because who knows you might drop something else as well that is used for something else okay so we move on to number eight which is the almanax the almanax is actually one of the best invented things ever that came into doofus in my opinion and you will notice why actually so for now we need four black dragon eggs okay so go out there hunt some and you can also just prepare for it by going to doofus.com and on top there is the almanax and then you click on it and you can browse through the days what's coming up next for the next day or after or after so for now hand in your item and talk to the little guy at the altar go back say hi to the lady that's standing there and tada quest done which means you get a calendar and once you have 365 you can get a doofus egg which is actually great don't you think and here's some stuff you can get with the tokens you get from the almanax as well it's it's basically not that much but you get some pebbles from it and some transformation potions which i like actually just random going around as a cup tubby or whatever or a lot of emotions which people will buy because maybe they are lazy to do this as well and not to forget that also you can get great rewards comma wise as rewards from the quest as well so don't ever forget this and you can also just set up a merchant with all of the stuff from the upcoming days people are lazy they don't usually go out there hunt it all and you could be there before them and get your commas right into your pocket number nine is professions Professions are one of the most used ways since the beginning ever. That's how a starter begins. Making your own potions and sell them on the market and all those little stuff. You have miner as well, you can sell some manganese or copper or lumberjack. You can go out and make some wood and planks, I don't care. Just go out there, sell them and get a bunch of them. Or you can level another profession and sell an amulet or a shoe. But for now, like here, you can make a fountain water. And it restores 900 to 1800 energy points. Which is very useful for people who PvP much because their energy goes down. Oh, and yeah, see? 20kk. Not bad, right? And 100 of them is already 2 million. Keep in mind. So, we have here a hobbit that's sleeping okay then number 10 is right here which is don't throw your stuff away in your journey because you need it even if it's just 1k or stuff you think like I'm never gonna use it maybe you aren't but some other low level or higher level is willing to pay for it or you can make a friend happy from your guild or you can help your guild out with leveling some professions because it's always possible right and you see you may have a lot of stuff but if you look at the average price at the end it all counts up and up some prices are actually not always the same but they are roughly the average price and you never know Maybe there's something in there that you need for your end set. So keep in mind. And this is a bonus one. This is number 11, which is helping out random people. And those random people can become your friends. And you can make connections and you can go hunt together, which is also money saving and you can get money together. Maybe if you even trust someone so much, you can share equipments as in you go out to a shop you crafted something together and then you split the money but this is only if you have complete trust in the person and if you hang out a lot because if you don't don't even attempt to do this and as you see I helped out 
the person is happy and you can ask for some help or maybe the person has some resources that you maybe need it and maybe they give for free maybe they are like sure I'll give you a little discount it all counts you know and yeah that happens so right now she apparently had a coriander leg which I needed and she gives it just for free now 11k is not much but it counts it all counts again and it saves you one extra dungeon run to the coriander dungeon now guys I uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial or guide and I hope you guys can make some more comments from this and yeah let me know if this worked and if anything else has to be added feel free to talk to me don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later later